What's happening? I'm Chime Time, and welcome back to another episode of the Chime Time Restaurant Review. Or should I say Chime Time's Takeout Review. So I'm over here off of Walker Avenue in Greensboro, North Carolina, at a place that is said to have some bomb ass shrimp and grits. Like, dang, I ain't had shrimp and grits in a long time. This restaurant is a common staple in the community, bringing a very diverse menu of Mexican dishes and seafood dishes. Yeah, but they got both. Ladies and gentlemen, today's Takeout Review comes from... <laughs> Yep, we got fish bones in the building. Fish bones, welcome to the show. All right, my sexy foodies and chimas. Today, we're gonna be trying the sweet chili jumbo wing. Just so y'all can see that right there. They definitely put the J in jumbo. These jumbo wings come in at a whopping $9, and you get six of them. They're pretty big. Let's just try them out and see if they taste good. Okay. They're all right. All right, so with the wings right here, we keep it a band with you. These wings are pretty good. They're nice and juicy, and they are jumbo, and for $9, you can't beat this. The only thing I will say about the wings is, I just wish instead of all the chili being at the bottom of the plate, I wish it was kind of soft on the wings. I mean, it is soft on some of the wings, but I had to dig deep down to the bottom of the tray, dip my wings up in them, and put them in my mouth. Yeah, I really wasn't feeling that. And to me, the sauce really should be called chili sauce. It's not really sweet, but it is a nice hot chili sauce. So I'm not sure where the hell the sweet came from. But hey, man, the wings, man, they, they busting. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the wings a nine. Ladies and gentlemen, next we have the fried oysters. Just so y'all can see what I'm working with right now. Fried oysters. These fried oysters cost a whopping $12. Now, the reason why I got fried oysters is because it's been brought to my attention that a lot of people have not tried fried oysters. That's number one. Number two, a lot of people do not like fried oysters because of the texture, which I don't understand because y'all put the weirdest things in your mouth and the most weirdest texturous things in your mouth. Which that's besides the point. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and try these right here, man. Looks like they come with a uh, rooster and remoulade sauce. Yeah, we're gonna try it with that. The oysters, they okay. My whole beef with the oysters is, man, they was not fried long enough. They are a little mushy. And honestly, for $12, it looks like you only gave me 12. So you mean to tell me, you charged me a dollar for this mushy piece of shit right here, man? Yeah, I ain't feeling that. I think these oysters would have been a lot better had they been a little bit bigger, a little bit crispier, and less mushy. And the remoulade, I mean, it. I mean, to me, in my own personal opinion, it just has too much mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Yeah, y'all, yeah, y'all definitely got me, man. A dollar per oyster, man. Just ridiculous. So I'm gonna go ahead and give the fried oysters a six. First, this right here is what I've been waiting for now. It's these good old shrimp and grits. Just so y'all can see the shrimp and grits, which is on the right side, and then we got the black and green beans on the left side. This plate right here cost me a whopping fifteen dollars and obviously it has shrimp and grits, which for the quantity, I mean, it does look good. They did give me a lot. Damn, I'm excited. Okay, I'm gonna describe this real quick. Ladies, you know how you meet a fine guy in public, right? Nice, tall, bearded, muscular man. You say to yourself, it looks like he has a big d You take him home, you drop his pants, and he has a little small gummy, a little worm, a little Peter. And you're just so disappointed. You're like, damn, he just didn't live up to expectations. That's what this right here is. It just didn't measure up. This right here is the worst. I mean, you gave me a lot of grits, right? Which I mean, I commend you for. You gave me five pieces of shrimp, which you could have gave me about two, three more, but it's okay. It ain't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't tripping about that. What I am tripping about is that this right here is so freaking bland. Whoever created this recipe, whoever cooked this for me today needs to be straight up smacked. This right here just ain't the business, man. This, this is this is this is completely trash. Uh, sir, have you met salt? Have you met pepper? Have you met paprika? Have you met Cajun? Those four women should be at the forefront of your mind when you're cooking a dish like this. Cause a dish like this does not deserve to be fixed like this. Dish like this doesn't deserve to be fixed like this. Yeah, you, you, you straight butch this, bruh. Yeah, to me, you just put in a little bit of cheese, a little bit of grits, a little bit of shrimp. Threw me a piece of lemon up in here and just said, you know what? He'd be all right. So the shrimp and grits, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a four. I'm sorry. All right, y'all know what time it is. It's time for the experience. First off, it took my food about 18 and a half minutes to come out. 
which you know what I'm saying, staying under 20 minutes is a good thing. So I appreciate that. There's a couple things I liked about this place. I love the sculptures on the walls. I love the paintings on the wall. I also like the fish tank that was sitting in the bike, looking all sexy and stuff with that big, pretty little white fish up in there. Looking all sexy and stuff. And lastly, the outside seating area, I absolutely love. It is a little bit small, could be bigger, but I love the outside seating area. As far as the dislikes, um, I will say about this restaurant, this restaurant is not as lit as I would like it to be. They have about four to five lights up in there, plus a lamp to the far right behind the fish tank, but I just think that it needs to be a little bit more lit, because at night, I bet it gets really dark up in that mouth. So as I told you earlier, I love the painting on the wall, but under the same breath, I'm gonna say, I don't like how it's scraped on the wall. It looks like somebody literally took a bite out of crime and just started trying to nibble on the wall, man. You might wanna get that repainted in. So I found this kind of weird. There is a back door, right? And people can actually walk through that back door to the front. And which really, to me, I think that should be blocked off because that should be for employees only. Or if you wanna take a Coming through the back, you walk right past the kitchen, and to be honest with you, it, it's a little bit weird, and it's slightly, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Just unnecessary. Do what you want to do, but I think that back area where customers will be walking in at, that should be just closed off. Last but not least, the wine. Yeah, the wine to me is just way too accessible. Anybody can reach they fat, crusty, gnarly hands back there, grab some wine, still and walk out like ain't nothing happened. I mean, for real, I mean, it's, it's, it's quite easy if you hadn't noticed. You've probably been doing this for a long time, so do what you do. I'm just saying, in my own opinion, I think you may should try to find a better place for the wine. Overall, this restaurant has a 95.5 sanitation score, which to me, it's pretty good. It's above 95, so hey, I can deal with it. So if you guys can see at the bottom right along right here, I got four recommendations, all right? So I got would not recommend, I got I don't know shoddy, I got would recommend, and I got straight smack. And for this restaurant, I would definitely recommend you guys go check it out, all right? The wings are pretty good, the oysters are pretty good, the shrimp and grits are pretty freaking trash. I'm just going to ahead and warn you right now, can't tell I didn't tell you. I told you so. It's definitely trash. But hopefully by the time Fishbone sees this video, they'll probably invented another recipe or added some more herbs or something to that soup and grits to make it more tasteful. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that wraps up another Chime Time restaurant review. For more vlogs, recipes, and freaking content, follow your boy on YouTube, please. And of course, if you want to submit a restaurant review, hit me up on Facebook at Chime Time or hit me up on Instagram at Mr. Chime Time. As all my fans, I love y'all so, 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 so much. Thanks for all support. Be blessed and I'm out of here. Peace.